All right, everybody. Here's a little device I've been working on. It's nothing special. I just kind of well, was waiting for different things to process. I just started screwing around. What basically happened was is I did a 21 hour print. I did two 21 hour prints on a project I was working on. The first one I noticed my belts were not aligned properly on my plus. Um, and that was because I had taken apart some stuff to do some linear rails. And uh, I didn't put my belts back on properly. Um, just test fitting some stuff over there. Then, uh, so because of that, my print was not square. So from there, I squared up my printer and then I noticed my print was better, but it was still not great. Um, and I noticed my belt, I mean, I half-assed fixed it and I didn't have the belt tension right on, uh, on, the, on the right versus the left belt. So the best I could tell, I didn't see anything really going on with the printer. I haven't dug into it too much, but I didn't see any other real reason um, that could have caused the problem. So I assume it's probably because um, the uh, one belt was a lot looser than the other one. So what I did was I made a, a little tensioner tool. I was like, how could I measure the tension on that? You know, I was touching with my finger and I was like, well, what if I made like a little gauge that was similar to like a tread depth gauge for a car? And then I went over to the desk and I had a ballpoint pen in there with a spring. So I'll show you what I did here. Um, basically it's three, well, three printed parts. And uh, this one is really, really tight. I had to jam it in here. So you got a cap. You have the main body. Um, and then you have uh, the bottom of it. And so what you're going to do is basically this screw right here. These are... 516 so I'm almost sure where are, my, where are my calipers here okay I guess we'll just uh, I'm not really gonna be able to take it apart unless I get a wrench so your 516 screw now yeah, it won't be 40 it's about what one and three quarters I guess maybe one and a half. I don't know where the package is. Yeah, one and a half. Um, it's got two nuts and a washer. So in the washer, that's kind of what you're using. You can use any of this in here to get your mark, but you could paint that red or white. It would show up a little bit better. So, but yeah, basically you're gonna put your spring on your screw, two nuts. You probably could just use an acorn, a, a locking acorn nut and uh, you know, use the bottom edge of it or something. Um, but I just doubled it up with a little washer in between. Um, you got 10 millimeters on the inside, so just whatever fits in there. Um, and then yeah, just basically, I'm just gonna pop all this together. Probably super glue it. So and then once it's all together, so now obviously there's limited range here because of the cheap spring. You know, we just used whatever. What you're gonna do, is you're gonna find a spot on your belt where it doesn't try to push it all the way up. So usually that's uh, about five or six inches away from your uh, X rail. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a mark on each side of your rails from your X rail five inches down, and then uh, same thing five inches down. Put a piece of tape on there. And I'm not saying it's gonna be five inches. It's gonna be kind of dictated by where this will fit. So now I'm going to pick the camera up and go over here and I'll kind of show you what's going on. So, so basically, uh, let me get my phone over here so I can see what we're looking at here. We've got the GoPro out there. So very simply, um, whoa. Well, hope you didn't get all vertigo on me. So basically, you're gonna slide this back. You're gonna pick a spot, and then you want it to be centered on your belt. It's okay if it goes down, 
and you're going to see the spring did not go all the way up and then we just want to mark it with our finger i'm just going to mark it how far and then what we want to do is we want to make sure we hit the same spot on the other side and the same deal and you see that this belt is slightly tighter than where my finger is you can see this belt is is looser it's not pushing it further as far up so now obviously this isn't going to give you any kind of uh tension maybe we'll work on something um better in the future where we can just set the tension on the belt with this tool it probably would require adjustable um tensioners so you can get the precision you need but this is a solution um for keeping these belts tight the other thing i always remember to check from here to here every so often with the tape measure um that's where mine was messed up it probably got i i took something apart on the other side to do something i'm not sure what it was i just didn't put it back together right so yeah there's your tool um, you just want to make sure it kind of fits on that belt about dead center and then just push it down and then if you want you put a little piece of tape or just hold it with your finger and uh yeah there you go and a uh, very functional tool very sh cheap easy to build all right good luck everybody